the unique factors is a company that's transformed itself into an educational institute, mm -hmm. which now is really going to advance sort of the second phase of, uh, of skilling and technical education in the country. So I feel uh, the importance of this event, particularly from a local standpoint, is uh, sort of the merging of two historical uh, you know, institutions with common roots. Uh, and have, with very common roots, have now come together uh, formally uh, with, with, uh, with the sort of the setup today. I see. So that's that's sort of a very unique story, uh, and I don't, I can't really recall any other <laughs> uh, company that has uh, transformed itself into university and another company now doing something like this. Is this the first uh, partnership you have with the Philippine educational yes, institution? Yes, this, this is absolutely the first in the Philippines. Yes. What about in other countries? In other countries, we've had an academic program for a number of years now. Uh, but the nature of some of these COEs is either similar or, but, but again, flavor to the, to the local country. And especially within the last couple of years, we've focused a lot on the Indo-Pacific region. And uh, in that context, this certainly is the first one. Yeah. So how would Filipinos uh, benefit from the partnership? Uh, I hope uh, we, we, uh, we, 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 well, let's just go to the specifics. Um, MSC software is a finite elements based uh, design and simulation. So you can use the program and in input uh, certain um, parts of your design and then you can run the simulation to see how it will react to the stresses or the temperature or the other factors that you can put in your simulation. Mm -hmm. Now, it is a very important tool for engineers and it increases the capability of engineers both from students up to professionals to be able to go beyond the paper and pencil type of design in, and go to visualization, simulation, and beyond. Go to manufacturability, go to um, efficiency, go to uh, reducing costs. Um, and for that reason, it will be useful not only for students, but also for professionals, professional engineers. Mm -hmm. And so with this partnership, um, we can give access to students of different universities, like tomorrow we'll have an event on that, uh, which will be a launching uh, to allow students of different universities to access training. Mm -hmm. And then we can also offer it to industry for training. Of course, not all of this will be free, of course, uh, yeah. and uh, because you know this, this is uh, uh, an industry, an e economic uh, setup. So <coughs> students from different universities can come and they will, can be trained in the, the use of MSC software. Piatti University, from the beginning of the engineering uh, courses or programs, will benefit by being able to um, look at the MSC software and be able to use it and connect it with the theory of. Uh, stress analysis, thermal analysis, uh, design, and then of course, they will be able to do a visual simulation with their computer and see what will happen to the design. Because before you just finish with the drawing. Yes. And, and, uh, and, and with the drawing. And, well, and the drawing does not move, right? Of course. Okay. Uh, you cannot, yeah. if you, if you, you cannot do simulation with the drawing. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. with mm. MC software, you will see how it turns if it is something that rotates, you can see how it bends, if it bends, and you can see if it flies, if it's an airplane, um, uh -huh. and, and all the other possible responses. Of course, this is all dependent on the type of module of MSC that you're using. Yes. So, uh, tell us more about the modules that yes. you will introduce. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let me take a little bit of historical perspective from a layman's standpoint. Yes. That, uh, you know, I think uh, initially, for the, between 1960s to 1980s, most of the engineering drawings and the simulation calculations were hand, handwritten. Yes. So, you had to physically have a drawing and then you had to anticipate what that drawing will, how will it move, and you have to manually go 